Here I am in my garage, soaked in sweat, as you can see, um, showing you how to do a variety of knee strikes. Oh, we're sweating. All right, so first on our list are some of the most basic knees. And we're gonna start with the most popular Muay Thai knee, which is a straight knee, or also known as a spear knee. And to do this, you're gonna launch that. You can launch it from the back leg. You're gonna launch it out and you're gonna thrust forward like so and try to stab your knee into the target. So. The next is very similar, so you don't wanna get these two confused. And this one is just a straightforward upward knee. And this one obviously comes straight up. Instead of going out like the spear knee, we're gonna go straight up with this one. And you can launch this one with the, uh, with the lead leg. So say I get someone in the clinch and you yank them into, boom, you can hit them in the stomach if they're crouched over enough or in the head or the face especially if you explode into it. And that brings us to the uh, diagonal knee, which is exactly what it sounds like. Uh, you best used in the clinch, and you, uh, once you clinch up, you bring the knee diagonally up into the floating ribs or even into the opponent's liver. And then you've got the lesser used horizontal knee, which is ac accomplishes more or less the same thing, but it comes across more like a roundhouse. <laughs> Okay, next we have what's called the knee bomb, which is a variation of the spear knee that's basically just done at a, a, a longer range. So uh, what you usually do is you plant the leg first and then I'm going to propel myself into the spear knee. Then you have the jumping knee, which is pretty famous, and there are two types of jumping knee. There's one that you jump and you try to cover as much distance as you can into the opponent. And the other one can be done from the clinch or close range, uh, which is more of an um, upward knee opposed to a uh, spear knee. So uh, to do this, you're going to jump with uh, the opposite leg first, and that leg is going to give you height, and then you're going to launch the actual knee. So it'll be something like this. And from the clinch, you could use it into the opponent's uh, stomach, so, or you could go into the face. <laughs> Next, we have what are called knee slaps and are usually uh, used at a very close range when you have no room to throw a uh, proper knee. Um, and uh, they aren't the strongest knee, but uh, they rely a lot on the turning of the hip. So you have to open your leg up real wide and you're going to just slap your leg to the uh, floating ribs. And if you turn at the hip hard enough, you could get some strength in there. Instead of, you don't want it to just be a little tap, you want to really try to pull them into it. So, which leads me to the crescent knee, which is actually a knee variation that was, I think, invented by a guy here on YouTube, uh, Quan Kicker, who is much better at it than me because he did make it after all. But for this one, and also at a very close range, you're gonna bring the leg out as far as you can, and then when you come in, you're actually gonna turn the leg diagonally and try to hit with the uh, bone here. So it's actually a harder strike than the knee slap. So you're gonna come in real close, and I'm gonna bring the leg in diagonally like so. So. Next, we have another variation of the spear knee, but in this one, it's called the twisting knee, and you're going to pivot on the um, the, the standing leg as if I'm throwing a kick. Okay, next is an unorthodox long range knee called the skipping side knee, and it's uh, similar to the skipping side kick. So, like in the skipping side kick, you're going to uh, leap the back leg forward in a skipping motion and land, boom, into the side kick. And that momentum gives you more power. So, for the skipping side knee, I'm gonna do something similar. I'm gonna skip and then. Next, we have what's called the step up knee. And here's the traditional name down below because I don't want to butcher it. So, it is actual technique. I mean, I guess you would have to use it at just the right moment when your opponent's knee is uh, in the proper position. So, it probably doesn't get used very much. But this is how you're gonna do it. And if you wanna get a little tricky, here's what can be called the spinning diagonal knee. And then finally on our list, um, the next kick is more flashy and also more suitable for movies rather than fights, but it is a spinning reverse knee. 
Fair warning though, the spinning reverse knee, oh shit, I got sweat in my eye. Okay, the spinning reverse knee is more of a flashy technique and may not be um, as uh, useful in combat. And there is a fancy little jumping version of this knee. And so those are some knee variations ranging from practical to flashy, more on the movie style sidekick. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit like, subscribe if you haven't, uh, leave your comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.